Now I'll show you how to use KDC uh, 300 with Galaxy Note 2. First you go to Play Store and you download KT Sync. And you go to Settings. In the Settings, there's a Language and Input. In the Language and Input, you will see KT Sync Keyboard. You select KT Sync Keyboard and activate it. And you go back to the list of settings and you go to Bluetooth and you turn on Bluetooth. Now, if you uh, use KDC uh, 300 with Galaxy Note 2 for the first time, you won't be able to see KDC 300 on the available devices list. But we already registered KDC 300 with Galaxy Note 2. You see KDC 300, but if you can't see on if you can't see it on the available devices list, what you do is you need to register. So um, you go to menu in the KDC and you go down to BT service and select BT service and select pairing and it start pairing and also you can also um, do pairing with barcode you will find enter pairing mood barcode in the menu it's page 185 you just scan the barcode and it start pairing so now you see KDC 300 on the available devices list and you select KDC 300 And after a while, we will see KDC 300 on the paired devices list. And if you want to remove KDC 300 on the paired devices list, you press this icon and then pair. And you can't see it on the paired devices list. Now I'll do pairing again. And I'll go to KT Sync. Now, KT Sync is not connected to KDC 300. So, if you want to connect KT Sync with KDC 300, you go to Menu and press Connect and select KDC 300. Now it's connected. And you can scan barcode and you will see the barcodes on your mobile phone. And not only with the KT Sync, you can also go to S Note, press home button, S Note, create a new note. And you select text input mode 
and you go to choose input method and you select KT Sync keyboard and then you scan the barcode. And you can see the barcodes on the C note, S note.